Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. In this Python tutorial, you're going to learn how to build a Python script that can help you enhance your low light images. We are going to use Keras for that and the model that we are going to use is called Mirnet. So the model that we are going to use is already available as a pre-trained model on Hugging Face Model Hub. So we are going to directly download that model from Hugging Face Model Hub and then we are going to use that. So what does this do? So this model if you ever used pixel or you know the latest iphone you know that there are certain modes where you can get a dark image like in the night and then you can use computational photography to enhance it so even when you take the picture even when you while you take the picture if the light is not available if there is not enough light you can still enhance the image using computational photography and that's exactly what this model is going to do and we are going to build using this model this tutorial does not teach you how to fine tune or build the model from scratch rather we are going to take the existing pre-trained model and then do inference on new images so for me to demonstrate this i have taken a data set that's uh, that's called happy whale um, competition that's currently happening on kaggle so i've taken this with the purpose saying okay let us assume that you know you're trying to detect whales um and and maybe some of the images that you have been given are not you know bright so this tutorial can help you brighten up your image like enhance your image from low light to bright light before you do any any sort of analysis or a, a build build a new model to detect dolphins or um, whales so that, that 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 is the idea of using this data set but you can apply this code and use any image that you want that is available in low light if you want to try it out with a different example you can still do it so the requirements for us is first we need to install keras library second we need to install hugging face hub hugging face hub is where we are going to download the model um, the the pre-trained model so that's why we need it after we install those two libraries keras and hugging face hub assuming that pillow is already available numpy and pillow is already available if numpy and pillow are not available then you have to install both numpy and pillow so i'm going to just comment saying you need numpy and you need pillow so you need these two libraries as well numpy for um, you know um, doing um, array manipulation and pillow for image image processing so after you do these things now you have to import numpy like i said um, array manipulation then this is to download the model and then you have like of course you have got keras for deep learning deep learning inference here we are going to do only inference but that's fine and then you have got pillow for image processing like converting the size displaying the image whatnot so next step is you have to download the model so from um, hugging face hub you you can see that you know we have imported from underscore pre-train underscore keras so that's the function that we are going to use to download the model this is the path where this model is present this would take like a couple of seconds maybe like less than a minute at this point hugging face model from hugging face model up kaggle is downloading this model just make sure in your kaggle settings that you have got you have got the internet on if your internet is not on maybe it may not work because you need internet connectivity from your notebook to of course to download this model so just make sure that you've got internet on not not on your machine on your kaggle notebook settings i, I think that's clear um, so after you do this thing if you're trying it on kaggle right after you do this thing so now we are going to sh i'm going to show you an image a sample image that i've picked so i'm going to use pillows image image.open and the image that is available and this is how the image looks like so my assumption is that maybe this is low light so maybe we can enhance it before before building a model on top of this so i can show you a different image as well um just just for you to see so we, we can try with both the images but we'll pick one image at the start and then we'll do it so the image is being loaded this is not necessarily very uh, dark but you can see that it, it is not quite bright as well so we can use any of these images let me stick to the first image right now and we have got so one thing that i realized for this model right now is um, the dimension should be in the multiples of four i'm not sure if it is a bug or whatever the reason is but for now this keras implementation requires you to have the image in multiples of four so the first step that i'm going to do now is i'm going to i'm going to resize the image using um, using using pillow resize so what is the name in which i re read the image so i read this image with this name i'm going to say resize the image and i'm going to resize it to 256 by 256 
and I'm going to use the method image nearest. So we are going to resize the image and I'm going to assign it back to the same name. So I'm going to assign it back to the same name so that I don't end up you know, creating a lot of objects. So at this point we have resized the image. So if I try to display the image, you can see the difference in the size. Earlier it was like this. Now it is the size. So it's up to you. You can keep it 512 by 512, whatever you want. Just, just make sure that it should be in the multiples of, um, it should be in the multiples of four, just to make it easier, I did that. So the next thing is, um, let me add few more code lines so that I can scroll up. So the next thing is you need to take this pillow image and convert into a NumPy array. So I'm going to say keras dot preprocessing dot image dot image to array and the input image that we have got which is low light image and i'm going to assign this to an object called image at this point you can see that you have got an numpy array so i can i can show you image dot shape so it's going to give you an numpy array 256 by 256 by 3 but as you know for any image processing we are going to normalize it so that we have got um, we have got these values from 0 to 255. So next step is we are going to normalize the image. So normalize. So we're going to convert it into float and we are going to say divide this by 255.0. And you can still see the same 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 sorry same shape, but you can the values would have got ideally changed. The next thing is when we want to feed this um, tensor into uh, the the model that we have got for inference, the model that the the bat size would be ideally at the start. So we have to for us to have uh, something like that, we have to expand the dimension. So I'm going to use I'm going to use np np dot expand dims, and then I'm going to give the image. And I'm going to give the first axis is where I want to expand it. So when I do this, and then I'm, I'm going to show you again shape. This has almost become like my debugging technique. So you can see that from the, the shape where we had before the tensor shape, which is 256 by 256 by 3. Right now it is like we have added one at the start, which denotes the which denotes the which which indicates the batch size. So now we like our image object is in the right shape in the right format for us to do model inference. So I'm going to create um, an enhanced image object, enhanced image, I should call it output. Um, and uh, model dot predict image, because we've been overriding it, I can use image. So we can say model inference, model inference to enhance the low light pix. Okay, so at this point, it might take a little bit of time depending upon the size of the image that you have got. So after this, the the like the predicted values are uh, stored inside output. We are going to pick the first one, and then we are going to repeat, reverse everything that we did. We are, we are basically going to tenet it. So we are going to do everything in reverse what we did to get the final shape so that we can display the image. So like I said, we have got we have got the we have got the output value so we're going to pick the first one of it and then we are going to say divide sorry multiply it right we, we divided it here so we divide it here so we have to multiply it by 255.0 and then we are going to call it output image equals to this and at this point you can you can see the shape you can see the shape this is this is how your shape is 256 by 256 but you can see the difference in the value. Like if you had seen the value there, um, it would have been zero to 255, but uh, but you're trying to um, get it back to the same RGB. But now there, there are, you know, some values that might not be in the range. So just to make sure you're going to use numpy clip function. Let me add some more. You are going to use numpy clip function to clip the values from zero to 255. So output underscore image dot clip of zero to 255. And then I'm going to still overwrite it to output image. So after I do this thing, the data shape is going to be the same, but right now is the time when we are going to do the reshape. So I'm going to use output image dot reshape of um, NP dot shape of output image. Sorry, I think I'm missing up with my brackets. Output image and take the first one and also np dot 
np dot shape of output output image click first no, three. so you are you are basically doing the reshaping exercise within the output variable output object and then i can see this uh, currently i think all of the everything that we have is float then we have to convert into uh, you can see everything is float we have to convert into unsigned um, integer so np dot un int 32 output image uh, oops numpy uh, oh u int un int i'm sorry u int and then store it in the output value and then you can you can see how the uh, how the output image values have changed from float to uh, unsigned integer and now that we have everything in place so this is this is the numpy array right now we can take and immediately give it to pillow so that we can visualize like we can display the image now to say image dot from array so because this is an array we want to use the output image as type u int of 8 and then paste it you can see that the image has been enhanced so it was it was a little dull and then it the image has been brightened and you can see the object like whatever it is it is a whether it is a whale whether it is a dolphin but you can see it has been enhanced so let me go through the steps once again quickly so that you understand what is happening i'm going to use a different image now so re, right now we use this image i'm going to use this image and then i'm going to display the image so that so that we have an understanding about what what we are actually trying to do and the next thing is we are going to resize the image like i said um i don't know whether it's a bug but right now this keras model wants you to give the input in the multiples of four so i'm going to just resize it to 256 by 256 and then i'm going to print this image you can see the image so it's it's not a very bright light now we are going to take the image and convert into an umpire array and then i'm just showing you the shape then we are going to normalize it to 255 and then next we are going to add one extra column like value to the tensor we are going to expand the dimension and then the dimension has changed now we are doing the actual model inference which might take a couple of seconds given the size of the image that you have given um, once we do that we are going to take the first object of it and multiply it by two, 255 basically we are doing everything in reverse whatever we did we are going to do everything in reverse and the next thing is um, i'm just showing you the shape next thing is we want to make sure that the values are between 0 to 255 we have it and um, we are going to reshape it like how the sh how the output should look like so if you see the see the output right now it looks like this we are going to right now reshape it so that when i show you the output you can you can see that it 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 looks like this so you can see the output being uh, reshaped and uh, the next thing is you you can you have to like for for now you can see that the object type is float you need to convert the object type from float to unsigned unsigned integer so i'm going to convert it to unsigned integer and then we have got the final image that looks like this and then we are going to display that so the we have got the final array which is basically the numpy array representation of the image we are going to use pillows function from array to take the numpy array and then display it so you can see an enhanced image so the difference between this image and this image you can see the dark spots have become brightened and you can also see the difference the actual difference between the object which is like whether it is a whale or dolphin or whatever it is and you can use this with real world images as well like if you have got an image if you have got an image which has got a complete low light very dark you can use this technique to enhance the image i hope this video was helpful to you and i hope uh, this video is helpful to those kagglers who are participating in this competition maybe i don't know if it is going to improve their accuracy i'm not participating but let's see if anybody tries it out um, if you have any comments about this video let me know in the comment section otherwise this this link the kaggle notebook would be available in the youtube description where you can just simply fork it and then start using it for fork is like copy and edit you can start using it run it and you can add any image if you want to try it without a different image with a different image this is the place this is the place you need to come and give your own image like if you want to download from the internet you can simply use w get and then you can download it i've just added it as a comment then you can download that image and then use that image in the image open but everything else should ideally work fine without you have you you know having to do any changes but if you want to improve this further 
then you should ideally go read more about MinNet so that you have different you know about what are the parameters that you can to tune or like what kind of changes that you can make to improve the output rather than what is being shown to you i hope this video was helpful to you let me know in the comment section otherwise i'll see you in the next video stay safe peace